The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or coming to vacation, make sure you're purchasing South Carolina-grown farm products. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Folks, welcome into this week's edition of the Sportsman's Table. We're here at the International Culinary Institute in Myrtle Beach on the beautiful campus of Ori Georgetown Tech. And joining me is sophomore culinary student, Julia Caldwell from actually right here in Myrtle Beach. And she's got a lamb recipe. And this is gonna be a first, okay? <laughs> ah, welcome. Thank you. Well, listen, I know your first year was exciting. The, re was. the rest is gonna be good, okay? It's gonna be great. Well, tell me what we're gonna be cooking here today. Lamb chops. So today I have a bone-in lamb chop. Yeah. Um, we're gonna do a pecan encrusted. And I also have some petite potatoes with rosemary and some collard greens. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, well, what's the first step? So I have my pan preheating. Okay. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on there. Gotcha. Um, just to make sure that it's not going to get stuck to the pan. Ah, there you um, go. But the first thing, the most important thing is um, you have to season your food. Right. So I'm going to put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Hmm. Yeah, and, and these lamb chops, are that's a large cut too, isn't it? It is, but it's really nice to have, like, um, with a lamb rack, it's, it's really small. So I like to massage a seasoning into the meat. Okay. Um, so I pick it up and move it around a little bit, because that way it, it adheres better, and it's more evenly seasoned than just uh, sprinkled on top. I got you. Okay. So now I have it right there. All right, well. Okay, I got your pan. It was getting hot, so now we're ready, Thank huh? Thank you. All right, so we're going to pan sear it okay. before we encrust it and then put it in the oven. So how long are you going to kind of sear it? Just enough until it gets like caramelized brown. Um, you don't want it to get too brown because you don't, then you'll end up overcooking it. I got you. But it has to be a nice sear so that it um, really locks in the juices. Okay, I got you. Mm. Sometimes I move it around a little bit so it doesn't stick. It may be hot. Check it. <laughs> it may be hot. <laughs> All right, Julie, you've got them seared. So what's next? All right, so we're gonna take the pecans and put them on this plate real quick, so I, I can you. encrust them that okay. way. Um, I'm gonna pr spread a little bit of Dijon on there, ah. um, just so it adheres better. I got you. So I'm just gonna spread it with a spoon because I don't really like my hands getting sticky. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could borrow my my towel too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, such a gentleman. <laughs> ah. All right, right. Julie, you got them all covered up with the mustard. Sure all right, and now the next step is just placing them in the pecans. Ah, I got you. I'm oh, okay. going to turn it over a little bit. Yeah. You're right, it all sticks yeah. right there. Plus, mustard tastes good on all that, yeah. And you can do this with panko, actually. Um, that's where I got this idea. Right. I did it um, in class. I'm going to put it back you. in the pan because we're going to finish them off in the oven. Okay, got and you. I'm just using a little bit more pecans ah, so there I can... You go. Fully coat it. Mm. That was a great idea. Yeah. I thought pecans were more southern, so yeah, I decided to do that. Yeah. You're exactly right. Yeah. And, and that's it's easy to do too. So. It really is. Okay. All, right. All right. So when we get these in here, then you want me to put these in the oven at what what temperature and how long? Um, 350 degrees, and we're gonna do about like five to seven minutes, so just until the temperature reaches about 130. That's medium, medium rare. Okay. Good. I'm gonna do it. Here we go. Thank you. Okay, we're out of the oven. Now you're going to ready to plate. So yeah. what's next? So I like to do my starch first. I put my petite potatoes. I got you. Right here, and they have a little bit of rosemary in there to okay. give a little flavor, a little color. And folks, you want a copy of the recipe, or you just want to follow along and watch Julia cook, go to bobredfern.com. We have the video stream right there. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to go with my collards and a little bit of bacon in there. Mmm. Stir it around so you don't get just the collards. Listen, collard greens <laughs> is good with everything. Can't mm. go wrong, really. No, you can't. No, mm. sir. Plus, it adds great color to the dish, too. It really does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so I've got my collards in there. I'm going to push the meat up a little bit. Okay. And we also have our colorful green. Oh, um, yeah. Not greens, I'm sorry. Vegetables. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to put them right in the middle. Oh, yeah. Just for a little bit more Carrots color. and squash. Look at that. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And no go. bland food allowed. No, so we, that's it. We have Vimy Gloss here. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the plate. By the lamb. Mmm. 
Julia. That is awesome. And I'm sometimes a little bit of a messy plater, so I'm going to wipe my plate. Ah, I got you. All right, so here. Okay. They teach you that's okay, too. <laughs> there you go. It's always okay, as long as you fix your mistake. There you go. Okay. All right. And there we have it. Lamb chops. There we are. Encrusted and pecans. Wow. Listen, you did good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Julia. Thank you for being a guest. It yet. was a pleasure. Well, good luck <laughs> as you go on year number two, okay? Thank uh, you. All right. And folks, listen, buy fresh, buy local, buy South Carolina. Log on to CertifiedSC.com and look and see what's fresh on the menu. We'll be right back here again next week on another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on supporting local South Carolina farmers and their products, visit CertifiedSC.com. It's a matter of taste.